and Miriam took us for a walk in the forest and we saw a tree there that had been hit uh, by a, a bug, by lightning, okay? Um, that tree somehow, as Miriam put it, the will to live made it sprout again somewhere else. But the tree as it was when it was alive before it was hit by lightning would have probably in this area, in a forest, let's assume, he, it was a tree which had its own integrity. Call it biological integrity rather than ecological. It's hit by lightning, but somehow it survives. Okay? It's no longer the same tree. It's twisted. It hasn't got the proper shape of a tree. But it is resilient enough, enough to continue living. Okay? This is one example. I'll give you another one. James Carr says the effluence out of, I'm sorry to say this, human waste that go into, God forbid, into the ocean or something, the, air, the area around that, um, the sludge, okay, human waste and whatnot, and creatures growing, are among the most resilient in the world. Also, they continue to, say, produce insects, etc. This has nothing to do with ecological integrity. So, integrity has to be differentiated from resilience, from sustainability, from health.